Hi, my name is John Gibbons, and today we're going to look at correcting a L5 that is fixed in extended, rotated, and side bent to the right. So it's basically called an ERS on the right, and it means that the L5 is fixated in a closed position on the first sacral segment. So it'll be L5S1 fixation. When we palpate the L5, the transverse process on the right side would appear to be prominent or shallow on palpation. So the dysfunction is down. So what we're going to do, because it is fixed in an ERS, an extension, we need to encourage flexion from the lumbar. So if I palpate the LS, the lumbar sacral junction, put my finger onto L4, and if I slowly encourage flexion down until I first feel it bind, and then you can hold onto that hand there. Now what we're going to do is bring the legs towards 90 degrees, but before we get to that position, I'm going to feel for the L5 and S1 and I'm going to take the person into that flex position because that would be a motion restriction. Because it's fixed and extended, we want to try to encourage flexion from our position there. And because it is rotated right, I've encouraged left rotation of the T-spine down to the lumbar sacral junction to encourage left rotation. And the third thing we need to do encourage is the side bending. Now, if I want to um, increase the side bending, then what I'm going to do is ask my patient to push your legs down, please. So that's inducing side bending to the right, which is where it's traveling. So we activate the contraction for 10 seconds. Now relax. Now, if I want to try to open this facet where my finger is, now if I slowly encourage this movement, it is inducing side bending to the left, which is encouraging an opening of the right facet. And we can repeat this three times. Push your legs down, please. For 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, relax, take a breath. And on your breath, I can induce further side bending. And then we repeat once more. Push your legs down. And then relax. And then the third time, we tend to hold for a little bit longer, just to make sure that the facet joint and it's gone back to his neutral position and relax. From that position, I bring my patient to the normal neutral and I almost try to unravel her. And then we can ask her to, to adopt the prone position and then we can re-palpate to make sure that the L5 is now in a neutral position. So that would be to correct an L5 that has gone into an ERS on the right.